welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I was actually going to try to do an outdoor garden video today and the wind is blowing so hard that I think it would blow my camera away or blow me away or something. So anyway, I've had a lot of people that have been um, reaching out to me wanting to know about kombucha. And so I wanted to uh, make a video on how to make your own scoby first because you have to have a scoby before you can make kombucha. Now, what is kombucha? Kombucha is a fermented tea beverage. It's full of probiotics that are really good for your gut. Um, and what is a scoby? A scoby is uh, sometimes called a mushroom. It's a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. And uh, you have to have that to, to uh, make your kombucha. When you put it in, when anytime you have a culture, it's going to reproduce those bacteria um, in whatever you put it in. So today we're going to start making a SCOBY culture. Um, and so I want to show you how to do that. You can actually purchase them from places and they're kind of expensive. You can pay anywhere from $25 to $50 for a SCOBY uh, with shipping and everything included. So that's kind of high when you can make one for not very much time. Uh, not very much money and not very much time. So let's get started. So first off, um, we need four cups of water. I do not use tap water for this. I particularly use distilled, but uh, purified water or something like that would be fine too. So we're going to bring four cups of water to a boil. There we go. I've got to get the burner to come on without igniting um and we're going to use some organic black tea you can use um green tea as well but i prefer black tea in mine and that's always worked out really well for me so i have this sprouts organic black tea i want i try to keep it organic so we're going to use three tea bags of that and we're going to put it in this water as soon as it comes to a boil all right our water has come to a boil and now we're going to turn it off and we're going to put our three tea bags in there and let that steep for a little bit. And I'm going to stir those around a little bit. It's just kind of like we're making a big, large cup of tea. So we're going to let those stir around and uh, sit there for a few minutes. And I'm going to move my camera closer so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see, the tea is getting darker here and... Uh, while the water's still warm, we're going to put, add in a third of a cup of sugar. Now, you can use white sugar, you can use organic cane sugar, whatever. Don't use uh, brown sugar or anything like that. But I just, I have organic cane sugar. And I'm going to sprinkle that in because we want that sugar to dissolve well in there. Now, the tea bags, actually, the reason that you have to use the caffeine uh, tea bags, you can't use decaffeinated, is because that contains nitrogen. And the culture will want to feed on the nitrogen and on the sugar. The sugar provides food for it, so it is actually going to consume that sugar. So we have to have that in, whether you're a sweet tea drinker or not, you have to add the sugar to it. So we're going to stir this in so that sugar gets really dissolved. If you've never tried making kombucha, it sounds kind of scary and hard, but it's really not. And it's so good for you. And the thing about making it yourself is that you can try different flavors that you might not be able to try from the store. And you can do it for pennies on the bottle. Um, you know, it's getting pretty, pretty expensive at the store. I actually... I used to make kombucha for years I made it and I had a SCOBY hotel full of SCOBYs and I didn't take care of them even though they're really forgiving and they lasted a long time but I let them I put them in my pantry and let them sit there and didn't feed them and they died so um, I need to start a new one and my favorite flavor of kombucha is grape and I will it'll be a stage three where we get to add flavors but uh, this is the first stage is just getting your scoby so we're gonna let this sit here and cool i'm gonna leave the tea bags in to just let it sit there and cool and uh, 
The next step is going to require some plain kombucha. This is, says pure on the front. It's a uh, GT Synergy brand plain kombucha. And so we're going to have to have a bottle of that for our next step. Because like I said, anytime you add a culture to something, it's going to reproduce that culture. So we have to have something to start with. So we're going to start with this. We're going to use two cups of this. So as soon as this cools down, I'm going to let it sit here for a little bit. We'll be back and we'll add this to it. All right, we're back and our tea has cooled down. Um, I'm going to remove the tea bags. I actually let them go ahead and just steep in here until it cooled off. So I'm going to remove those now. Um, I have a jar that I've sterilized. It's a, just an old pickle jar. I sterilized it. Well, first I washed it really good. Then I sterilized it with hot water. And then I put a little bit of vinegar in it, um, which I've got a little drop still left in here. I'm going to dump out. Um, I put a little bit of vinegar in it. So when you're working with kombucha, it's always good to keep your pH levels what they need to be. So I just rinsed it with vinegar. Um, I'm going to put that there. Sorry, I got potatoes on for dinner. Um, okay, so our sugar is dissolved. Um, our tea has come. It's cooled down to room temperature. You never want to put boiling or even really hot uh, tea with your either kombucha or your scoby because you will kill it. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pour this. I have a jar here that I showed you and I'm going to pour it into that because this is what I'm going to make my scoby in. This is actually what I make my kombucha in as well. So I'm going to pour the tea into the jar. And I have no sugar residue on the bottom, so that's good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use two cups of this plain kombucha. Oh, that was fun. You got to be in for that. I had let it sit out to get to room temperature, so we fizzed all over the place. Um, I'm glad I just cleaned my floor. That always makes it better. So anyway, um, yeah, there's that. This is very fizzy. We're going to take two cups of this. Oh my gosh, it's very fizzy. We want two cups of not fizz, but two cups of the actual kombucha. If you've never tried kombucha, you should try it. Oh, it's a great alternative to soda and it's good for you and it's delicious and it has such a wonderful effervescence it's all natural um, okay so here's my two cups I'm gonna pour which actually was the whole container I'm gonna pour that into here you can see I have this sitting by my pan on the stove so I'm gonna move it over a little bit okay the next thing you're gonna want to do is take a tea towel or something a piece of cloth of some kind and cover this I use a hair tie, I actually buy them for this, and put around because it holds it tight. It needs to breathe, so but you don't want fruit flies to get in. And I don't prefer to use cheesecloth because I've seen a fruit fly make its way through those little holes because those holes are kind of bigger than what I feel comfortable with. So here we have our uh, kombucha starter. We're going to put this in, I'm going to put this in my pantry. It's dark in there and stays cool. And I'm going to put it in there for about 7 to 14 days. We'll come back and check it. But uh, another thing to note is if you have other starter cultures in your kitchen, like for instance, I have kefir grains going and I have sourdough starter. Um, your cultures can contaminate each other, so you want to keep them away from each other. Um, so I'm actually going to put this in the pantry on a shelf away from all of these others. So... Um, this is how you do your kombucha starter, so I hope you get it started so that we can make kombucha together. It's really simple, really inexpensive, so I'd rather do this than pay the $25 or $50 that it costs to buy a SCOBY. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this away, and after about seven days, we'll probably come back and check it out together.